In this section, we will have a look at services in Ember. Services are Ember objects that contain application logic that can be shared across various concerns in an application. We will start with building a service in Ember and then we will look at customizing services and lastly, we will look at service store interaction. Let us get started with building services. In this video, we will create a shopping cart to be able to add products. To do that, we will need to generate a new service and then we will see how to inject the service where necessary. So let us start by booting our application. Then if we open any product, let us add a button to be able to add the product to our cart. To achieve that, we can open our products template and add a button after the price to be able to add to cart. Let us move it after our traits and then navigating to our browser, we see that we are presented with an add to cart button, which does nothing as of now. So let us generate a service which will handle the items that we add to cart. We can do that by typing the command ember generate service and the name of the service which would be shopping cart. Then let us open our service. In this service let us define a property called items which would be a blank array to begin with. And then we will also define an add method to be able to add an item to our items array. And inside this, we could be doing something like this dot get items and then call the push object method on it and push the item into the array. Next thing we need to do is inject the service into our product controller but we do not seem to have a product controller as yet so let us create that by typing the command ember generate controller product in this controller we will start by defining an action to add to cart Let's call the action add to cart, which can then be invoked from the add to cart button. And then to be able to access the shopping cart service, we need to inject it into our controller. So firstly, to do that, we need to import the inject function from ember slash service and the recommended way for that would be to import inject as service from ember slash service then we need to inject the service on our controller to do that we will type shopping cart and call the service function which is in essence a call to the inject function once we have injected this service into our controller we can simply access it by using this dot get and the name of the service that would be shopping cart note that ember is able to intelligently figure out the name of the service that we intend to inject but in case the name of the injected service does not match the actual name of our service we can explicitly specify the service name so that ember can find the right service and then we can go about calling the add method that we defined earlier and we need to pass in the product as a parameter which can be accessed from 
the property this dot get model then we can go to our template and do something like cart dot items dot len items in cart which will give us a visual indicator of the number of items in our cart now when we load our application in the browser we see that we are presented with an error that we are attempting to inject an unknown injection that is service shopping cart so to get around this we need to restart our ember server so let us restart our ember server and then our application works as before and we can see that if we try to add items to the cart the quantity is incremented in the items in cart property we can also go to some other product and add more items to the cart and our application works as expected lastly instead of displaying the total items in our cart on only the product page let us move it to the navigation menu so that it is accessible from all our application routes so to achieve that let us open our application template and we will add a bootstrap navbar and here we would want to display the number of items in our cart and let us make the number of items into a badge and finally we also need to move our navbar to a collapsible div to ensure that it is accessible from smaller devices with the hamburger menu but now when we load our application and we try to add items to cart we see that the shopping cart does not display the number of items in our cart and that is because we are yet to inject the shopping cart into our application controller so let us do that we also need to remember to import inject as service from ember slash service and then also since we have imported this service as shopping cart we need to refer to it as shopping cart instead of cart in our application.hbs template now when we load our application and we add items to the cart we see that our shopping cart in our navigation menu is immediately updated with the items that are added to the cart to conclude we have generated a new service called shopping cart and then we injected this service into various parts of our application that needed access to it and thus we have seen that services are a very useful construct in ember